Hello, my name is Mariana, and today this is a reading for Aquarius. So Aquarius, as usual, I'm doing this reading with my own tarot deck, so the cards that you'll see are from this deck. So I am back, um, and it feels really great to be back with an Aquarius reading because this is where I started all those years um, back in 2021, I think. Um, so yeah, it feels like this uh, very fresh new beginning in a sense. Um, so Aquarius, let's go to your message because it's a very interesting one in the sense that you are finding a pattern that somehow was creating kind of like a hurdle because it was um, continuing on without your consciousness, without your awareness. But for some reason, you are pretty much aware of what this uh, is and how this uh, created um, almost like a barrier inside your mind and like that uh, perception that you know, whenever you uh, are ready to start something new or whenever you're ready to um, like break through something, it's like you constantly faced like uh, barriers and blockages and um, kind of like this confrontational um, energy, right? Coming at you. But this is, it's like this is now being perceived. This is now being seen in a way that now you know that this is no longer constructive, that this is not working to your progress, to your evolution. And somehow you are pushing it all aside, right? It's like you're just saying no to all of that, no matter how intense it is. And in a way you're cracking through something that is opening up your view that is so clear. And it it's almost like, it ends with this clarity that is so simple. It's like it's going to be very easy to distinguish where you were and that pattern that was um, recurring, right? This very um, unpleasant type of blockage that was always there. Because for some reason, it was, it's like the ball was rolling right? This uh, six of uh, pentacles opening up your reading today, Aquarius, is talking about this train that is moving, right? It's like it's on track. Basically, this is what I see um, when I see this card sometimes. Um, and for you, this is what I'm seeing today. It's like the train was moving. It was kind of like a um, slow progress in a sense. It wasn't speeding up. It wasn't... Um, um, stopped either. It wasn't, um, it wasn't stagnant, right? That's the word that I was looking for. Um, but in a sense, there is movement, but there is also kind of like a, almost like this repetition that I'm seeing, right? I'm seeing the wheels, right? The, the, it's like the same motion, the same, it's almost like the same cycle, the same repetition, maybe the same relationships, the same kinds of relationships, and always ending up in a you, Aquarius, feeling kind of um, challenged by that, right? The Nine of Wands here is talking about this hurdle. This is what I uh, heard with this card, a hurdle, right? So even though things apparently maybe on the outside looking in were smoothly flowing or were um, just um, flawless perhaps, right? It's like something that is um, in agreement, right? But for you, because the nines to me, they are this very individual experience. It's like for you, it's almost like there is something that is not as you would like to or... Um, and it's almost like this time around, you're not going to accept that. It's and it's not that you're not going to accept that. Um, it's almost like you're not going to resign to this. You're not going to conform to this. You're not going to simply um, agree to it, right? It's almost like if there is something that is not the way that you would like to, it's almost like you're going to face whatever it is that is coming to block you that is going to um 
create the barriers, create the the uh, confrontation because the Ten of Swords today is coming um, upside down and this reversed uh, card is just talking about how the moment that you acknowledge that you're not satisfied, right? Basically with the Nine of Wands, you're not satisfied with how things were just being prolonged, right? Being postponed perhaps, or just um, just like this usual day-to-day -day kind of very, um, like a very mundane, very boring, very uh, expected uh, type of um, routine, right? It's like there's nothing really special about this, right? So it's almost like you don't agree to the agreement anymore, right? Because there is the hurdle and maybe you're feeling like um, you're carrying all the weight of you know, this agreement on your shoulders, perhaps. But then as soon as you speak up, I want to say, or at least I'm not seeing you exactly speaking up, at least not until the very last card. But but even the last card, it's almost like you're not going to speak up just to prove that you're angry, that you're not satisfied. It's like it's you're not speaking up to make a point. That's the thing. It's like you're just reacting in a way right? In a way that is different than the uh, resent, resentment. It's not resentment. Is uh, What was the word that I was using? Re resigning, right? It's like conforming to things as they were, right? And so you're not conforming to that anymore. And so very, very quickly, I want to say, it's almost like there are, it's almost like I'm seeing these two arrows in the middle almost like as like an army of drones, right? And they are surveying like people who are uh, like um, unsatisfied in a sense, right? But showing how unsatisfied they are. It's like, and you are personifying this right now. You are embodying this energy because you're no longer accepting this, right? You're no longer in agreement to this. And so you have like eyes on you, energies uh, pointing towards you. And this leads to the barrier because today, this is a very interesting image that I don't think I've ever seen this with this card. So the, the Eight of Pentacles here is symbolizing two no's or two crosses or two um, um, denials, right? It's almost like, especially because now that I'm thinking, it's like, if we think of these two swords as the two of swords, right? The traditional two of swords, you know, there's the girl with a blindfold and holding the two axes with their hands, with her hands. And it's almost like they are here to, it's almost like to blind you, right? It's almost like to create the blockage, to intentionally, um, it's almost like to give you more work, right? It's almost like if you're saying that you're not satisfied with things as they are, right? It's almost like, so if you're not satisfied with the six of pentacles, which is almost like, you know, this should be fair. This should be harmonious. This is what they're saying, right? It's almost like there is this army, maybe in your conscious, right? Or, or in your, um, in your mind that is like, just, um, it's just like, uh, this, uh, negative self-talk, right? It's almost like you should be satisfied with this, right? This is very harmonious. This is very fair. This is very balanced. Why isn't it giving you more uh, butterflies in your stomach or like excitement or, um, you know, surprises or um, unexpected things or feelings, right? Instead, it's giving you this hurdle, right? And now you're not resigning to it. You're not just conforming to it. You are showing your dissatisfaction and so here these two are wanting to like make way it's almost like i'm seeing them you know it's almost like this uh chaotic traffic of drones and they are almost like the police of the drones right i don't know what i'm talking about it's like this very sci-fi type of uh thing um and so it's almost like they're here to uh it's almost like they want your attention they want you to look at this energy it's like they want to give you work to do right but the work to do is almost like to break that wall or to break that barrier if that makes sense it's almost like giving you more work so that your attention is on this and perhaps 
you know, if this is the train that is on track, it's almost like don't pay attention to where you're going, right? It's like just follow the lead, just continue moving along. And it's almost like you're saying, no, I, I don't want that anymore. It's not satisfying me anymore. So you're, you're rebelling against it in a sense, right? But it's something more internal, I feel like. And this, it's almost like it gives you extra work, right? Perhaps like this extra mental work to just, um, it's like break the wall inside of your mind, right? And so here, you manage to do that, but you manage to do so, Aquarius, by pushing all of that aside because the Nine of Pentacles coming next, you know, and the interesting thing is that the Nine of Pentacles is right beneath the Nine of Wands. So what you're doing instead of seeing this as something to, um, to whine about or to cry about or to be angry about, it's like you're making something valuable out of this experience because if you're being given more work, right, which is almost like more blockages or more no's or more negative answers or more denials or whatever, right? It's almost like building, it's almost like the building blocks of like this internal wall, right? So that you're blinded by your own mindset, right? This, it's like closing yourself in your own mindset. Um, but it's almost like you're, you're breaking through that wall in your mind. And so the nine of pentacles is just pushing it aside, right? Because here we have the eight pentacles, which is almost like that. Um, it's like this closing in energy. And here you're saying no more of that. It's like, if I have to face this alone, then be it, right? Because it's like, you're, is, I do feel like even though, you know, the Six of Pentacles talks about relationships and agreements and um, maybe business uh, connections, uh, things like that, right? A ways to relate to others. It's almost like you're you're not feeling the partnership. You're not feeling the the reciprocity. So you are feeling alone anyway. So when there is kind of like this internal resistance to... Um, blind you from the thing that is most obvious to you, right? It's maybe it's like this internal fear, right? Um, that is, I want to say, giving you more work, right? It's almost like this is homework. It's like you need to break down this internal wall because um, it's actually going to be very valuable to you in terms of you finding your independence, right? Maybe from this very expected very um regular very um it's like this very well-known uh, agreement this very well-known track right and so here when you push that aside it's like you are well here you were already very singled out you were feeling like you were carrying the weight of the world which in fact we do have the world card coming next and it's almost like now I'm seeing this as like you're proudly carrying the world on your shoulder. Here, it was almost like it was um, it was just uh, heavy and it, was, it wasn't your responsibility basically, right? It's almost like you were carrying the burdens of others. It's like you were needing to, or maybe you were left to deal with uh, hurdles that weren't created by you, right? Were created by others, by your partners, for instance. But it's almost like because as soon as you try to rebel against it in a sense and you are met with resistance or with the intention of blinding you again and that gives you this internal work, it's like you might as well, you know, make this um, lemonade out of the lemons that you're being given. And so what that gives you is this, uh, it's almost like you're taking on the responsibility to carry the weight of the world on your shoulder. And when you do so, this is so incredible, Aquarius. It's like, here comes the clarity. And here, right, because this is upright, these two, right, in the center, they are, it's almost like this is the stronger current. Let's say that this is the um, collective, collective unconscious, right? It's like, this is, you know, how mass consciousness is um, driven by fear and resistance and denial and um, like this blockage, right? This, um, uh, the barrier, right? The, the blindedness, right? But here, 
it's like the moment that you uh it's like the moment that you say okay i'm going to carry the world on my shoulder this is my responsibility this is what is going to um it's almost like it's going to um what is the word it's it's kind of like um it's it's make myself more worth it or make myself more valuable i don't know how to express that it's almost like um you're going to feel how worth this is you're going to experiment with this direct experience right it's like this um i'm not i'm not making this justice it's like um you're going to see for yourself how worth this owning of this responsibility is for your process and for your process of seeing the world because what i'm seeing here it's like you're cracking this open with this spear is that the right word spear it's like this is this is almost like this very um precise instrument i'm not seeing this as kind of like this very gigantic type of um arrow it's almost like this very tiny um needle right but it's like it's it's exactly what is needed that's the reason why it brings this clarity that it might be you know surprising that is actually very silent instead of maybe the very uh it's like this very disruptive type of drone like buzzing and you know this very um it's like this action movie type of scene right that is very um it's very tense right so but here there is this peace and this uh quiet and this um it's almost like you're piercing through the world but you're only able to do so when you stop seeing that this is a hurdle right to carry the weight of the world on your shoulders instead you push aside that which is actually giving you more work and yes it's going to make you feel drained right because it's almost like you're fighting against some sort of external pressure in a sense right it's almost like this you know all of these needles in a sense right but here it's almost like there is um uh, how do i express this it's like there is this uh almost like this curiosity right now that you have this tool which is truth by the way right it's like this very it's very it's almost formless it's almost subtle enough that it's uh it's without shape it's it's not manifested right it's almost like you're you're your thought form is able to pierce through the world because I'm seeing this as like opening up and then it's almost like you're free. You're free of the homework in a sense, right? You're free of these two X's. You're free of these two denials, these two um, negative answers or the barrier, however you want to see that extra work, right? So in a sense, it's like you're proud to have taken that responsibility on your shoulder, right? Because somehow that, it's almost like it really reverses this, right? If this is mass consciousness, this collective unconsciousness, and you are with your very subtle instrument, right? It's like you're, you're just um, breaking through this barrier for the planet. It's almost like you're proud to be like this speaker of truth, but it's, it's not exactly speaker of truth. It's more like listener of truth or like the, the, like piercing the truth. It's almost like piercing the truth of the earth, piercing the truth of the world, right? It's like you're able to, to get to the core of the planet. It's something like that. And the thing about this truth is that it really unlocks something in your heart, I want to say, because the page of cups is at the bottom of the deck. And it's talking about uh, this innocence, right? It's like the innocence that perhaps was not perceived when you had these hurdles or this hurdle, right? Maybe the most recent one. Or even like you had all of these voices in your head, right? It's like this chatter in your mind that was, you know, just uh, so um, deafening 
right? It's like, it's not just blinding you, but also uh, making you unable to hear the truth. But it's almost like here your heart is, it's like it's being, it's not like it's being restored, but I want to say it's like it's being rediscovered, right? Because now you're able to listen to it because now you have this thing that cracks open the world and it empowers you, right? So it's almost like, it's almost like reaching this maturity, right? This independence in one level, but in another hand, it's like it's unlocking also, it's almost like this innocence that has been locked up or caged in, right? So that's really interesting. Um, it feels like a breakthrough overall, right? It feels like a major breakthrough. And it's almost like you're going to have less work or, you know, just because you had extra work, when these things are gone, it's almost like you're going to feel at peace. It's almost like you're going to find your place in the world. It's something like that. It's, it's, I want to rephrase that. It's like, you're going to find your place in your own mind, right? It's like you're, you're, your mind is going to be, it's like, it's going to be this whole new world, right? This, uh, it's like this new territory, right? That it doesn't need to be constantly filled with all of these voices. It can be this very peaceful one voice, one tone, right? So Aquarius, I know that this was a strange one. Um, yeah, I am going to pull more cards uh, to see where this heads us to or where this leads. Um, and then I'm going to pull from the astrological runes in the extra, in the uh, extended reading. So if you want to join me there, I'll be very happy to see you. You can find link down below. If not, I'll see you next time. Bye.